one night only, a man they call the cult, derivatives lecturer, the smartest of the cults, the finance industry's Mozart, the effervescent, the magical, Paul Wilmot. I'm sorry I'm late. I got distracted trying to save the world economy from financial meltdown. May I have a volunteer, please? Can you check that this is an ordinary deck of cards? And shuffle. And another volunteer. Thank you, madam. Please would you be so kind as to name a card, any card. Ace of spades. Would you hold up the cards, please, and fan them, so that I can't see them? Now a simple question for you all. What is the probability that this card I have in my hand is the aforementioned Ace of Spades? Anyone? One in 52. Because there are 52 cards in a deck? That makes sense. But aren't you missing something? It's 100%. You are supposed to be a magician, aren't you? <laughs> That's the general idea, yes. But suppose my question isn't about a card trick. Suppose it's just a metaphor, if you will, for risk management and scenario analysis. What if you had a billion dollars riding on this card and whether or not it's the ace of spades? Is it my money or other people's? Good point. Let's carry on with the show and you'll see what I mean. One in 52, say some, or 100%, say others. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, the card that I plucked from the deck is indeed the Ace of Sp The Three of Clubs. Oops. Um.